Now let me just give you a short update. Now this is just the events that happened the last week. I am sure there's more, pero mora ni akong makita. Thank you. Actually, kung may yung kog end time signs, mora normal na ang mga great earthquakes, no? When I say when when Jesus said that you're going to, we're going to see great earthquakes before he comes great earthquake means 6 magnitude 6 and up and the last last week lang i think naali murag kusog kay nga mga earthquake last week so, this is in new zealand i thought it was 6 pero 5.8 rade Another one was in Taiwan. Sige daw, dahil wala ko This one was in Mexico. And amazingly, kaning Mexico, that same day, anniversary sa ilang major earthquakes in 1985 and I think in the 1970s, the same day, niigo na po ang earthquake. Last, kano sana? I think it was the other day. I think the Lord is speaking to Mexico. It's up to the church there to discover that. This was from Taiwan. 2018, the prophet Sadhu gave a warning to Taiwan. He went there and he said that there's going to be an earthquake and the church must repent. And then, it happened a few days ago. Pero kaning mga great, it, great, great earthquakes and kaning mga storm floods, murag normal na siya, dili na siya na to, actually, dili na na ni Gapang Sinon nga ni mga signs. Oh, this is part of the signs, ingon si Jesus. But actually, ang, ang tanawan bito na to, nga signs, can you listen to me? Signs that we are entering the last seven years or the seven-year tribulation period. Hello? Normal na kining mga, mga floods, calamities, earthquakes. Dili na tamasyak, murag, what's new? This week lang gani, na ito lukabok na, na nag-earthquake. So, right now, I think as Christians, we should be looking for signs that tells us we are entering the last seven years or the tribu tribulation period. Now, my question is, do you know the signs? Do you know the signs? Hello? Okay, kumun na kayo ng wars, rumors of wars, kumun na kayo ng lino, bagyo. But what we should be looking for is the sign that we are entering the tribulation period. And that should be your hobby. Because I'm telling you, the last, muna ni akong, ga, muna ni akong gabantayan kay murag kadaadlaw na naman go yung mga, I call this minor signs. Next, next slide please. Now, <clears throat> I believe Russia is actually a major sign that we are about to enter the seven year tribulation period because of the Ezekiel 38 war, they are part, part na sila sa seven years. If you study prophecy, Russia has a, ma a major part in this war, in this last day's war. In the Bible, there will be wars and rumors of wars, but we are actually to watch specific wars prophesied in the Bible. Now, the alliance between Iran, Russia, and Turkey, it happened three years ago, and it's actually a milestone that we're about to enter the, the last seven years of this era. Now, two days ago, I think this was, this was yesterday, Putin mobilizes 3,000, uh, 300,000 troops for war in Ukraine and warns he's not bluffing with nuclear threat. Now, kasabot ba mo unsan nga balita? Kasabot mo unsan nga balita? Um, nahutdan na og tao si Putin. So, yung gibuhat, 
Iyang gipang tawag ang iyang mga reserve. Ako, reserve officer ko sa Adili ko officer, reserve lang ko sa ROTC. Pag-graduate na ko ROTC, plat ang mga lan, reserve. Kung na ako sa Russia karon, wala na. Dili na ako kagawa sa Russia. When Putin announced this, ang mga lalaki, rumba o sibat. Ang uban, gi-stop na nila ang, ang pamaligya o ticket sa 18 to 60 years old nga mga lalaki because they are to be drafted into war. Now, Why, why is this significant? You know, Russia only did this in preparation for a world war. The last time this happened was in World War I, World War II, and now Putin is um, nang recruit na po siya. And dili lang kani po ang significant, ang significant po kay, di ba naaman sila ay na-occupy ng mga lugar dito sa Ukraine, Don- Donetsk o Luhansk, So, These territories were annexed by Russian, by Russia. Ilang gi declare sa ilang balaod nga annex na. Say with me annex. Di ba inyong school na annex? Kabalo mo say annex. Man yung part na sa inyong building, part na sa inyong territory. Now, dili siya, dili gatuo ang mga international community ani because it's a sham annexation. Meaning, it's not recognized by the international community, but in 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 Russian law, para sa ila amo nani annex nani. Meaning, they have in their law, if somebody attacks or lands a missile on this Ukrainian nga mga ciudad nga annex sa Russia, they are obliged to fire back and use. High-powered weapons. Like karon sa Ukraine, gakapildi sila because they are not allowed to use big guns. Kung kung mantuman lang, boots on the ground lang, gubat-gubat, gansiyon gid sila kay, suko naman sila kay, ang, ang NATO, ang, ang US, sige sila, ugpadala, high-powered, so nangapildi sila, lagot sila, so muna itong button. We have to use our big guns so to make an excuse, let's annex Lohans and Donetsk. Now, ilan na nang gi... Annex. If somebody fires on those Ukrainian cities nga gi-annex niya, they will, according to their law, amo na nang gibutang sa balaod, ingon si Putin, we can fire even a nuclear weapon because we are trying to protect our sovereign land. Are you getting this? So, inanan at ka precarious karun. Like I said, sa history na to, World War II, The first year sa World War was Germany invaded Poland and then the next year everybody got sucked into the world and to the war and then after I think three years ay pa rin nakasulod ang US I think right now gahinahinay pa og kadalahig ang mga nasod okay actually we are at the threshold of a, of a world war no relax lang kay tano Do you know that we are already in a world war? Do you know that? Dili pa lang siya full blown. But I'm telling you, it's in the Bible. Things are happening now. We are going to experience a world war. Okay? And praise the Lord, kung magsugod na nagbuto-buto, mudagan na po balik ang musimba. Hmm. This is God's way of calling our attention. Next slide, please. I'm just going to share you tips, okay? Another, another sign that we are entering into the tri- seven-year tribulation period is the, is the two-state solution. Ang sama ng two-state solution. Meaning, Tungaon sa mga Palestinians o ang, ang Jews ang Jerusalem. What's wrong with my hair? Ano alam? Okay, na akong hairstylist. <laughs> Forgive my hair. Now, dili gusto si Lord ani. And I, I think I heard a prophecy. If anybody divides my land, yun si Lord, I will divide their land. And ang the pressure aning two-state solution, I don't have, this is not my main topic, okay? Can you just 
study this on your own. Naman may Google, no? Naman may Google. You study what is the two-state solution. Dugay ra kayo ni ga i-impose sa UN, sa mga Americans. Pero pag ni Trump, nawala. Kay pro-Israel man si Trump. Unya si Netanyahu, dili musugot ani karon si Lapid. Yay Lapid naman ang igon sa kanini Lito Lapid no. <laughs> siya naman and I think he's part of the tuta ni siya sa Illuminati. So he's going for the two state solution, a divide ang land of Israel. I think part part of the, the the agreement would be they would be allowed to build the third temple. Okay, so musugot na lang po ang mga Jews. And, and I think ang pressure sa Israel, ani kay ang Americans. Next slide, madam. Naman yung tweet ni, unsa, ni, ni Biden. I think ang nag-pressure sa Israel, in fact, sa una pa, ang pressure sa ila nga mag-two-state solution are the Americans. And as a judgment to this, to, the, to dividing the land of Israel, I believe, The, um, the, uh, their land will also be divided. War will come into their nation. Mark my word, when World War III happens, many of um, the American cities will be desolate. May go na sila. Hopefully, kita dili. Amen? So, this is a time to really pray. Hello? Ini mga bay, this is a time to pray. Next slide. By the way, next, the last three or four days lang ni siya nga mga balita. Ha? So, I cannot catch up with all the prophecy. But have you heard about the red, the red heifers? Kanino siya nga mga mananap, muna siya ang gagamitin para muklen sa temple. Now, this is another sign that we're approaching the last seven years of this era because during these seven years, the Jews will build the third temple. Okay? So, hapit na. And by the way, these years are not pleasant. These years are the most terrible times on earth, according to Jesus. Mubo naman akong wali ron, so I hope mubo ra. Ako na lang sang i-share gamay. Jesus said that what will happen has never happened before and it will never happen again. Have you heard that from Jesus? From the Gospels? Nabasahan na ninyo? Kisay nakabasa, pataas kamot. Ang mahitabo ko no sa katapusang mga adlaw, ngilngig kayo, nga wala pa ni nahitabo sukad, o dili na i-allow ni Lord nga mahitabo. Now, what could be more terrifying than World War II in which 6 billion Jews were annihilated? I think all in all, 6 million people died during that war. What could be more worse than that? Now, what's worse? Nga nung grabe ning mga mahitabo karon because sa una, karon naman gud ta na ay nuclear weapons. Kita mo tong mga picture sa Nagasaki, Hiroshima, di ba, na mushroom cloud. The bomb that they have produced right now is 3,000 times more powerful. Grabe ko no kayo ang ang blast nga kung magpiyong ka, tabungan na ni mo morning testimony sa mga katong nag na may gipang testingan nila mga bomb sa una dito sa Bikini Island. Magpiyong daw ang mga sundalo, tabunan ilang mata mo ng instruction. Pagbuto, nakita pa nila ang mga tao nga at naasay lang at tubangan. Imagine that, gapiyong. Pagbuto, nakita pa nila ang tao. Meaning kung nagmata nag, nag, sila ato, sunog ang ilang 
mata mabuta sila. Now, if there's a nuclear fallout, I mean nuclear blast sa sub zero, kung naata na buto sa sub zero, meaning sa tungod yun 50 kilometers radius, bless kita. Kaya ano? Just split seconds. According to the book of Zechariah, your eyes, your eyeballs will melt on your socket and your tongue will melt on your mouth even before you're standing. So ina nakapaspas. Now, ang kuyaw kay ang nuclear fallout. Now, naani siya ay radiation. Now, imagine if a, diri lang sa, example, diri sa kagayan, giigo ang Davao. Bless kay ang mga taga Davao. Kay split second, wala na sila. Alaot ta. Kay pag sa hangin, naapatay pila ka, by the way, uh, 60 kilometers nga radius beyond that, those people living beyond that perimeter will die in a few days. And farther than that, people will die in months. Pero katong layo, people will die in years. And there will be lawlessness, there will be chaos, and I think matinood na yun ng train to Busan, Because people will be infected with this radiation, yung madaot ang ilang utok, and to survive, wala na ba system, people would eat anything, even people. Now, when Jesus said, lingilngi ke ang katapusang adlaw, wala pa na hinaitabok sukad, o dili na nako tugutan may tabok sukad. Are you getting the picture? Can you see the picture now? When I explained that to my son, he was teary-eyed and had look shy and I, and I didn't mean to scare him, but I told him, that's why we need to pray. That's why we need to get closer to God. This is the days where we need to hear the voice of God. Nothing can save you in these times but the voice of God. Ini mga bay, walay makaluwas na to, kundili ang tingog lang sa ginoon. Hearing God's voice is not, it's, it's a matter of our survival in these last days. Okay? Now, like I said, they're preparing, the Jews are preparing for the third temple. When we went to Israel, gusto kay kumuhatag sa third, mag-donate sa third temple, aron ma-build na siya, kaya naman sila box it and then they can, you can donate there. Praise the Lord, wala akong kadalag kwarta. Kung natag 20 shekels lang out of my ignorance, I realized afterwards na ang third temple di ay is the temple of the Antichrist. <laughs> but there is actually a third temple. Kabalo mo? Kinsa ang third temple? Nain ito bag? Tanawa imong abay. Bato na siya. According to the book of Peter, we are actually living stones fitted together to become the temple of God. In other words, the third temple that the Jews are waiting for to rebuild, wala na na siya actually. Wala na yung worship dito. When Jesus died, He abolished it and now the third temple is us, the church, you and me. Okay? But the problem is, inimong abay, are you an operational temple? Hello? I'll, I, I wanna... I'm going to the, to the message now. Ezekiel, uh, Hezekiah, you know him? A very young prophet, I mean young king. His fa- when his father Ahaz died, there's a record here in... Second Chronicles chapter 29. Well, we, I, let me just read the whole chapter, okay? Anyway, 36 verses, Ramanisha. 
Okay, just flash Second Chronicles 29 there. Ang naitabuan is, si Ahaz, listen, he shut down his father, Ahaz, King Hezekiah's father, he shut down the temple. The temple was not operational. And the temple was filled with unclean things. And praise the Lord, when he died, his son Hezekiah proceeded and sat on the throne. And first thing on his agenda was, he wants to cleanse the temple. So the story is here in chapter 29. When Hezekiah, 25 years old, when he became king of Judah and he reigned in Jerusalem 29 years, his mother was Abiha, the daughter of Zechariah. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's eyes. Can you say that with me? He did what was pleasing in the Lord's eyes. God was so pleased when he made it a point to cleanse the temple. Just as his ancestor David had done. Sige daw, madam. Paspasa daw, madam. In the very first month, the first year of his reign, Hezekiah reopened the doors of the temple of the Lord and repaired them. Say with me, he repaired the temple of God. He repaired the temple of God. Because I'm telling you, there are a lot of temples here, in, even in the body of Christ. It's filled with unholy things, unclean things. He summoned the priests and Levites and met, met with, him, with him at the courtyard east of the temple. Pwede ipataas yun, madam, ka nang dili lang kay isa-isa, aron paspas. He said to them, listen to me, you Levites, purify yourself and purify the temple of the Lord. Ingnay mga bay, purify yourselves. Purify God's temple. You see, without the temple, there is no presence of God. And without the presence of God, there is no voice of God. And we don't, when people don't hear the voice of God, there's no vision, there's no revelation. And the Bible says, my people perish if there is no vision. Hello? Hello, are you getting me? Remove all the defiled things from the temple or the sanctuary. Inay mong abay ba? Remove all the defiled things from within your temple. Remember, in the New Testament, we are the temple. Our ancestors were unfaithful, did what was evil in the sight of, the, of our God. They abandoned the Lord and His dwelling place. They abandoned the dwelling place of the Lord. Kinsa gani ang dwelling place karon? Kita. Hello? Ayha raba mo dwell si Lord kung Friday? Si Imo? Ayha raba mo dwell si Lord kung Sunday? Listen po no? Ayha raka magpuyo si mong balay kung Friday o Sunday? <laughs> And the rest of the day, how about Lord? If you are that kind of temple, I'm telling you, you are not the dwelling place of God. Border lang, visitor lang si Lord every Friday or Sunday. They abandoned the Lord and His dwelling place. They turned their backs on Him. They, they also shut the doors to the temple entrance room and they snuffed out the lamps. They stopped burning incense, presenting burnt offerings at the sanctuary of the God of Israel. Sige da, madam. Dili na lang ako to. Assignment na lang ninyo, pwede? Hello? Naman mo Bible, no? Read the whole chapter. It's just 36 verses. I think you got the point. Verse 3 to 16 out of 15 was actually the repentance led by King Hezekiah. Say with me, repentance. repentance. Now imagine, sa panahon si ang Papa, walay temple gisirado. No worship, no sacrifice, and there's no word 
coming from God because every year the the high priest gets into the most holy place once a year lang na siya and once he got there he receives instruction from the Lord when he receives instruction and then he tells this to the whole nation mo na din siya ang direction sa the whole nation for the whole year and every time the temple was operational, like in the time of David and Solomon, they were the most powerful nation. There were blessings because they have revelation. They have, they have the voice of God. They have the presence of God. Pero, once their wicked kings reign and shut down the temple, they have no word from the Lord, so they're on their own. They do whatever they want. And ingon pa diri ni Hezekiah mo na ang atong mga anak at mga asaw they were enslaved and there's so much defeat and destruction because our forefathers have shut down the temple. Okay, verse 16 daw, madam. Now the priest went into the sanctuary of the temple of the Lord to cleanse it. Can we read that together? The priest of the sanctuary went in the the priest went into the sanctuary of the temple of the Lord to cleanse it. Can you say that with me? That's very important. One, two, three. The priest. Now, if your body, Paul said, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Then who is the priest? Huh? Huh? Who is the priest on your temple? Kinsa ang priest sa temple ni Paolo? Sa temple na ako? Ako, ako ang priest ani. Right? I cannot tell Noel, Noel, clean my temple. We are our own temp priest in our own temple. Ini mong abay, cleanse your temple. And they took out to the temple courtyard and all the defiled things they found. From there, the Levites carted it all out to the Kidron Valley. Ilang gipagawa si Kidron Valley is actually a valley between the Temple Mount and the Mount of Olives. Dito nila gipang sunog. They burned everything unholy that was inside the temple. Things that are not supposed to be there, but those wicked kings, Gimung Budiga, nag-abog-abog na, nag-cobwebs, and things are not supposed to be there, were there. So, when they opened the, the, the temple, they found a lot of unholy things inside. Hello? Are there unholy things in, in your temple, in your life? Hello? Hapit ng gubat, we need to hear the Lord. Sige daw, padayin, madam. Next verse. They began the work in early spring on the first day. Of, they had reached the entry room of the Lord's temple. Then they purified the temple of the Lord itself, which took another eight days. It took them eight days in cleansing the temple. Now, by the way, kaning temple na ay outer courts, the, the physical temple, okay, it's the Old Testament, and then the inner courts, and then the most holy place. Now, the outer courts represents our, our flesh. And then the inner courts represents our mind, the soul, our imagination, our emotions. Now, and then the inner court represents the most holy place or your spirit being. Did you know, kung i-categorize niyo ang mga sala na sins of the flesh, sins of the soul, sins in the mind, sins of your emotion, and then sins of the spirit. When I got born again, the first thing, automatic, wala na ko kinanglan, nakadungog, ugwali, ani, 
automatic Jesus, the Holy Spirit convicted me of cussing. Pamalikas. Hello? And I think it took me, it took the Lord three years to finally cleanse me from this sin. Akong mama karon kabayo na lang. Sao na, dagan kayo nagsumpay. Karon born again na ang kabayo. Ay, kabayo. Sao na, dagan kayo nagsumpay. Na, 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 kabayo. Ah, tut sa kabayo. Tut, 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 tut. Pero karon born again ang kabayo. Mino. Praise the Lord. And ginahinay o change ni Lord ang outer court na ko, my flesh. Hello? Masa pa man ang mga sala sa gusto niyo basahan na to? Madugay man tano. Tagay rin akong sala sa lawas. Ha? Glottony. Isa'y naging mga glottony. Ako, wala, di, wala na ako na ego. <laughs> Drunkenness. Naman na sa Bible. Balik-balik na. The sin of the flesh. Adultery, fornication. Right? Dagan kayo, no? Kung i-mention dito, natuto na, ratatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Actually, dapat three part ni siya ng teaching. Corporate mo, uh, as a church going to the most holy place, and then personal going to the most holy place. Diri lang sa atas sa unsa ha? Kanin personal most holy place. Okay? Now, this is how we receive from the Lord. First, God works from the Holy Spirit. By the way, the work of the Holy Spirit is to convict. In ni mga abay, the work of the Holy Spirit is to convict. He actually helps us cleanse our temple, our body. Hello? Amen? So, what happens is, the Holy Spirit will convict us of sins of the flesh. Mga sala sa unod. And then, musun antud sa, it would take years. Naiuban nga dali ra, pero most of the time, it, it, it's gradual. And then right after that, mus- sulod na po siya dito sa imong imagination, sa imong sa imong emotion. Sa una, abin ako, magsigi ko daydream. Niya ako mga daydream kay mga bastos. Kasi ka I'm just being honest, okay? Ako una na nga, wala man ko nakasalaan ni. Eh. Ako rabiya. Nara man ko sa kwarto, naging una. And when I found out nga, lakadili din ni Mao, because I have to cleanse my inner temple. So, naninkamot ko, ah, dapat dili ako magunawa na, ani. Kana din magtanaw ka sa imong isig katao, unya, lahi ang imong hunaw na, dautan ang imong hunaw na, say, sala na din na. Hello, kinsan ay inana magunaw na. Amen. <laughs> Mga dautag hunaw na. And I began to be convicted of these bad thoughts and bad imaginations and bad emotions and Lord, tabangi ko, hinahinay. Dili siya isa ka adlaw, tinuig yapon, mas dugay pa siya, mat- natang-tang kaysa itong mga mga balikas. I'm telling you, when the Spirit of God comes upon you, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that moment, the Holy Spirit starts cleansing the temple, your temple. But it should be a cooperation with you and the Holy Spirit. Kinsay makaingon din nga, for many years now, I have been cooperating with the Holy Spirit. Nay uban, gilimpiyuhan na ang outer courts, nagsugod na si Holy Spirit, pero gikapoy, nibalik na pod, nahugawan na pod ang outer courts. Gibalikan ang mga sala, nga gibiyaan na unta. So, balik na pod kaglimpiyo dito. And this is what I have discovered, okay, over the work, over the years that the Holy Spirit worked in my, in my life. The more you cooperate with Him, the more He will convict you with inner, inner things. Okay, remember kata kong gishare sa inyo nga, nga, nga na ako yigitan ako nga pastor, ay maula gud ko share ani, pero in, I'm just trying to reveal my heart to you. And then, ubus akong pagtanaw ito nga pastor kay ang iyang barong, daan, niya, tigulang na siya, niya, gamay ka iyang church. And I was speaking to this church, na nakita na ako siya, and then, kanan lang bitong split second lang nga nilabay sa akong hunaw na nga, a lowly pastor, ubus nga pastor, marag, alamang ko, pero wala gina ko, gina na bitong nga, ala, nung sa mani nga pastor, ay, nga, mga, it was just a passing thought. Are you getting me? Kanang ana lang. And then three days after, the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart. She remember that time when you were speaking to this small church and you looked at the pastor, unsa imong gihunahuna? You looked down on my servant. When the Holy Spirit reminded me of that, nasyak ko and then I really cried, Lord, forgive me. Nahadlok ko kay tungod dili lang ato nga instance. 
Kay tungod pattern na din na siya sa akong mind to look down on people nga feeling na ko angat ko. And almost every day I do that and I don't even recognize that it was sin not until the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Because gaihinahinay ta ni Lord. Hello? Siguro ang iyang gaihilimpyo sa ato kay kanisa, kaning mga obvious sins. Pero kung magkagrabi na gani, magkagrabi na po ang iyang cooperation sa iya, He would reveal little details that is not pleasing to God. Are you getting me? Hello? Right now, for some of you, the Holy Spirit is cleansing the outer court, your flesh. For some of you, you've been cooperating with the Holy Spirit over the years now, and now He's trying to convict you and cleanse you with your thoughts and your emotions. I pray that you would continue to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Ma Matagsa-tagsaon ta na mga sala karon ba? Maugmaan mang gud eh. But I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now. Amen. Now. Last na ni. Mohaman na din ko. Pag humana din na sa soul, dito na din ta sa inner man, sa spirit. Once the body is cleansed, the soul is cleansed, and then the spirit can now commune. Your spirit now can commune with the spirit of God. That's the most holy place. Hello? Do you know why people, not too many, do you know why not too many people receive revelation or word from the Lord? Because we can only hear from our spirit if the body and the soul is cleansed. Now, kung wala kay madunggan nga instruction ni Lord, wala kay i-obey. Kung wala kay i-obey, you're on your own. Hello? Hello? Hebrews chapter 4 verse, I think it's in verse 9. We come boldly into the most holy place to receive mercy and grace. Say with me, mercy and grace. This is very important. Why do we need the mercy and the grace of God? Mercy kay, sabi sa anak, kaluoy. Forgiveness, right? Once we go to the throne room of God, the Lord reveals to us deeper things. Deeper things nga kinangla na to i-repent. No, mga ko sa inyo, when was the last time you repented? When was the last time you repented? Do you know that there's a lot of things to repent about? Nine times nga mag, mag, mag drive ko and then the Lord would just speak to me and I would just cry kay tungod na nasad ko ninyo duman nga sala. There was one time, gihilot ko sa kong asawa. Pero gaana ako, sige ko gilak. Can I remember na sad na ako? Gi-remind na po ko ni Lord. Ganina sa hapon, I was again crying because the Spirit of God was just reminding me of another sin. And telling you, if you just... You're, if you are just, we, if we are just sensitive with the voice of the Holy Spirit, He's cleansing us every day. He's cleansing us every day, and He's trying to cleanse the outer inner court because God wants to speak to us clearly, because we have a destiny to fulfill. Hello. Hello? So this is the work of the Holy Spirit. Problema lang nato, guys, we don't listen, we are not sensitive enough, and then that's why we don't hear so much 
revelation or we don't hear so much of the Word of God. And since we don't hear Him speak to us, because there's a lot of things that's hindering us from listening to the voice of God, now we are doing things on our own. We do things... Kanang, kay wala man tayo nadunggan ni Lord. Ah, kanina lang akong bata. And then we assume things. Like I said, in these last days, hearing God's voice is uh, between a, a matter of life and death. Amen? Last na lang, okay? As a church, do we have a clear, do we have a clear kind of direction from the Lord? Now, as a church, how do we know nga naata sa most holy place? Okay. Every time we come together and worship, our goal should be coming into the most holy place. And corporately, we have to recognize nga, oh, napata sa outer courts, napata sa inner courts. So, kani most holy place na. We have to be in unity with this. Okay. My prayer is that ma-upgrade ni Lord ang atong worship and that we would have a unity. Now, Sa outer courts, na dito gakay tabo ang mga mga sacrifice, mga katay, susaba kay mga mananap diha. In the outer courts, saba na siya. It's noisy. Okay? Pero magka, magkaduol ka sa presensya ni Lord, magkahilom na siya. So that's why, in the outer courts, it's called, iingon sila dito sa Psalms nga, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and praise. That's why we start with praises. So during this time, we jump, we shout, we clap. Right? And then, after ana sa praise, magkasunod, magkamelo na din ang mga music, no? Kanta na din tag, Lord, I give you my heart. Manimbarot na din mga balhibo. It's, na na ka sa imong emotions, sa imong soul. Right? Tulog na din mong luha. But when we enter into the most holy place, dili na ta pwede mag-singit-singit dito. Dili na ta pwede mag- 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 sana, mag-pak-pak. Pati ang atong mga kanta, it's about enthroning. And sad to say, not too many Christians or not too many churches reach into to this point. Hello? There was one time I was speaking at a youth camp and then ilang yatag sa ako kay one hour lang after preaching ang mga mga batanon ng ligid na, ng hilak na Lord, nanghapa na sila dito. Nanagid na sa, nanagid na sila sa most holy, nanagid me sa most holy place. But since they only gave me one hour, at exactly one hour, I turned over the, the, the mic to, to the, to the MC. Pag dawat din sa MC, sabot sila sa worship team. Batun. Mga bata, kagaligiligid pa, gailak. Tuntod, gisingit lang kalit. Anda naman mo, mo, pres, mo, 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 daig sa ginoo. Tukar din sila, bibo kayo nga tukar. Ambak-ambak din sila, ang mga tao, galigid-ligid pa. Naghinayin yung bangon. Actually, dapat kung naanat sila dito, that was a time to hear and listen to God. The Bible says, be still when we are in the most Holy place, our action should be be still and know that I am God. Diba si, si, si Elijah sa first Kings ba to? Katong, ingon si Lord, stand in the mountain. And a wind, a thunder came, but God was not in the thunder. The wind came, God was not in the wind. The earthquake came, God was not in the earthquake, but God was in the silence. So I encourage you, when you feel the presence of God, did you feel the presence of God, Ganina, while we were worshiping? 
It means, nga naa siya, dili, dili lang na makita. Hello? Once he's here, we have to receive. Lord, unsa kay imong istorya sa amo? Or unsa kay imong istorya sa ako? Hello? Hello? You have to know this. This is the pattern. The Bible says this is the pattern. Once, sometimes, gani, kumunaog na ang presence. So, I just tell the worship team, keep quiet. Let's kneel down and listen. When that time comes, dancing is not appropriate. Shouting is not appropriate. Clapping is not appropriate. Hello? Just sit down, be still, keep quiet, and hear the voice of God. Kung saan ni magkadungog, kung magligid-ligid ka, magdagandagan ka, magkirikiri ka, or kung mag-CR ka, sige kag-ana sa imong rilo. That is the most sacred time in worship. What God has to say. I'm telling you, many times, I hear God's voice during this time of worship. Very sacred moment. Hello? Imagine nimo if you could just see what's happening in the spiritual realm during the time of worship. Ha? Kung may, kung, I hope ma- maabrihan ang atong mga mata ba. Kung unsa giga kay tabo. We just feel God's presence, right? Earlier, did you feel the presence of God? Does that mean that He's here? Of course, iya ganitong presence. But, dili lang nato siya makita. What if makita nato? What if makita nato ang unsa giga kay tabo? Nga naagit ang throne ni Lord kani dili lang chairs, but naa siya dito. Do you think you would stand around? Do you think you would walk around? I have this picture. Ingon ko, ma-end na ko, di ba? Last na lang, okay lang. I have this picture, ipangita na ako, when Duterte was visiting the kingdom of Cambodia. And he was sitting with the king and they were talking and of course, the media took a picture. But when that picture was released to the public, many of the citizens of Cambodia criticized Duterte. Kung tanawan ni mo, kung, king, kung democratic ka nga, gikan ka sa democracy, magtanaw, there's nothing wrong with that. But ang mga citizen bitaw, this man is not respecting our king. So kung kay sila kang Duterte. Did you, did, did you hear that news? So ako din gitanaw gin sakto. Kabulong mo ang sigibot ni Duterte, yung siya yung sala. Wala siya ng botonis. Iyang botonis kay open. Nga iyang ninigipilo. Suko ka ang mga mga tao sa Cambodia. He's not respecting our king. And that is just an earthly king. Now imagine when we worship God and we feel His presence and all the angels are respecting the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and they're all bowing down. Pero kita din yun. Si Arsa ko. Ang sakay, you know, sa mga angel, na yung mga angel rin ang luhod ba, naghapag. Sa mga tawhana ni Galakula ka, Raman. No wonder, listen, no wonder we don't hear from the Lord. Because when He's here, our minds are elsewhere. If we learn how to truly worship the Lord, in the most holy place, I'm telling you, we would receive lots and lots of revelation. And you can do that by yourself at the privacy of your room, not just here. Now imagine, pila ka worship service that we missed out hearing God's voice because we don't have the discipline and the reverence and the respect. Say with me, reverence. When you feel His presence, remember that word, reverence. 
Kabalo mo say reverence? Deep respect. So, it's another level of respect. It's deep respect. When you feel His presence, let me remind you again, when we worship God, as a church, or even kung ikaw lang isa, when you feel His presence, it means that He's here, His throne is here. Remember this word. Unsa to? Reverence. Deep respect. Stand up. Diba? Kung naay mo duol sa imo, galingkod ka, unya, dignitary siya, like a president, mo duol sa imo. Oh, Mr. President, this bump. No, we stand up, right? And if it's a king, we kneel down. And when we know how to act this way, when we have reverence to our king, he will speak to us. Try it. Try it. Manang, ganahan gid ko og worship service. I don't want to be late. When it comes to, daghan lang ko gahulatan, but as much as possible, gusto gid ko nga naa ko sa worship service. Because when I feel His presence, meaning He's here, and I could receive His word. We're not here for each other. I don't know story a story. There's a lot of time for that. We're here for the presence of God. Amen? The most holy place. I hope that we would have more revelation about this, about this place. But let's start with cleansing the temple. Amen? And I pray that we would have this, we, balik-balik na ko ni, kaning mga, kaning message, that we would have unity in mind and heart every time we come together because God loves a place where He is revered. He loves it. Where He is valued. Where He is respected and where He is worshipped. And I want that place to be this place. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we're living in exciting times. We're living in times, Lord God, where hearing your voice is a matter of life and death. It's a matter of our survival, O oh Lord. And not just survival, O oh God, but our prosperity, our success. Lord, help us to understand what happens in the most holy place and teach us how to act, how to worship, how to revere your name, your, how to revere your presence. Remind us, Lord God, that every time we feel your presence, that we have this awareness that, <coughs> that you are here though we cannot see you. And help us, O oh God, be reminded that every time we feel your presence, to act in reverence. Thank you, Lord. We want to hear your voice. We want to know you more. Thank you so much. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.